Alex's head was almost ripped off of his spine. He told us that he would never breathe on his own, that he would never move. On day one, God said, there's going to be a process in which I'm going to use to unveil the healing. For some reason, I said, are there angels here? And his face just lit up. And the first time was when I saw the angels catch Daddy. And the car hit us. I slammed it in my seat. Well, Daddy flew out of the car and the angels caught him. One of the unusual things about the accident is just having no memory of all of it. Uh, I was driving and then I was on the side of the road and then I was kind of at the hospital. To sit with my then six-year-old son and have him tell me, I was really glad when they drove you away in the ambulance. And I was like, Alex, you had already flown away in the helicopter. <laughs> and I was like, how did you know? And he just said, I saw it. You can read through scripture and you see some very dynamic descriptions of, of what heaven's going to be like through people who have been there. And so when, in talking with Alex, where he's kind of describing some of these same things, it's really like, wow. I don't think it's so far reaching that a loving God, uh, a graceful Lord Jesus Christ, would touch a young man's life, show him things. If Alex says he's seen heaven, we would have to go through the scriptures and say, has anyone else seen heaven? Since Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, then it can be yes today.